back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a grocery haul. I love doing grocery hauls and I feel like it's been a minute since I've done one, so that's what I have for you today. After the grocery haul, I'm also gonna kind of talk about what's to come for this week. I look like a mess right now. I've been having a chill, stay at home, do nothing, relax type of day. And that's what look comes with the vibe. So let's just go ahead and get started. We got a ton of stuff at Sprouts and Smith's yesterday and I'm really excited about everything that we got this week. I will say everything we got is plant-based except eggs. I really want to be 100% plant-based but giving up eggs is so hard for me and I don't know why. I just love eggs and they fill me up and they make me feel good and so yeah, but everything else is going to be plant-based minus the eggs. So I'm going to tell you guys what we got as well as kind of tell you what we're using it for because I feel like that's really helpful for people who want to make meals and like grocery shop and stuff but don't know what to get or what to use the stuff for. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with these crackers. These, this brand of crackers actually very clean, good crackers, simple truth. Um, Zachary's favorite are these green ones. They have rosemary and olive oil. So he picked out a couple of boxes of these. He has some salsa and some guacamole he wants to use with these crackers. We got some garbanzo beans or chickpeas, whatever you want to call it, because this week we're going to be making a broccoli chickpea stir fry. Never tried it before, but I found a recipe on Pinterest and it looked really good and I've been craving chickpeas. So I figured that would be a good recipe to try it out. We also got a couple avocados. We actually bought three, but Zachary had one this morning at breakfast, so we have two left. He uses these for your basic avocado toast. Next is my current obsession, which is bananas. There is just times in my life where a banana sounds like the best thing ever, and there's other times where I'm just like, mm, it's a banana, but right now, love bananas. So we picked up a whole bunch. Zachary eats one every morning with breakfast. I'm starting to do that as well. And then I also like to just grab one as like a snack if I'm feeling hungry. I just love me a good banana. Next up is some fun things we found at Sprouts. I'll start with these two because we're used to these. These are Hillary's Veggie Burgers. These ones are my all-time favorite. They're just like the original veggie burgers, but Zachary really likes these ones, which are the Southwest Bean Veggie Burgers, and they're good, but I prefer like the plain original. These were on sale, they were a dollar off every single box, so we got four boxes of this kind, four boxes of this kind, and because they were on sale, we also picked up these ones, which is Fiesta Black Bean Veggie Burgers, and then we also picked up these ones, which are super cauliflower veggie burgers and these ones are grain free and I don't think the rest are. Just to give you guys a little rundown of this brand, they're super super nice for like people who have allergies. All of their stuff is free from the top 12 most common food allergens. So they are free from gluten and wheat, egg, soy, dairy, corn, peanuts, tree nuts, coconut, sesame, mustard, sulfite, and shellfish. So everything in here is like stuff that people normally would not be allergic to and i just love this brand it's not that expensive especially when you find it on sale these boxes were two dollars a piece so it's a really good deal basic but we got some white onions just for your regular cooking i feel like almost every recipe starts with an onion so it doesn't hurt to have onions speaking of onions we also got a red onion which we've already cut into for our veggie burgers that we had last night and that we had for lunch for dinner today. And we're also using this to make a slaw to put on some tacos we're having later in the week. And I'll talk about those in a second. I'm really excited for those. We also picked up a bunch of baby carrots. I also have a mood with carrots, like I love carrots and then sometimes I'll hate carrots. Right now I'm loving carrots because I'm loving dipping them in this roasted red pepper hummus it's so good. This is not the one that I wanted. I wanted the tomato one. Oh well. This brand though, Cedars, the best hummus in my opinion. The last one I had from them was the roasted tomato basil, I think. Sun-dried tomato. Sun-dried tomato basil. That's what it was. It was delicious. This is the roasted red pepper, so I'm excited to try it. And I like this because they put tahini sesame tahini in here instead of like soybean oil and stuff so it's much healthier and it's something that i'm not allergic to so definitely try out cedars if you like hummus what's up next i guess i'll do the mushrooms we bought two packages of mushrooms one of them is for fajitas 
and the other one is for making broccoli bowls. Broccoli bowls for us is basically a bowl of rice with some steamed broccoli and mushrooms and carrots and then like some soy free soy sauce and sriracha. I also picked up a head of dino kale, the absolute best. It cooks so well, it's so crunchy. It's that dark green, beautiful color. So amazing. We put this in our pasta. Speaking of pasta, we got two boxes of this Pau green lentil pasta. We normally get the red lentils, but they were out of it, so we got the green. They pretty much taste the exact same. This is what we use to make pasta dishes. We also got two little baby pieces of celery. I'm not like the hugest fan of celery. I have to be in the mood, so. We just bought the sticks that the recipe calls for instead of like a whole thing of celery because I didn't know if it would be eaten or not. But this celery is also going to go with our tacos, which also calls for a big head of cauliflower. I'm not really a cauliflower fan, but when you put buffalo sauce on it, I'm game. So this cauliflower is for buffalo cauliflower tacos. So it's the cauliflower, it's the celery, it's the red onion, I think it's the lime juice, it's the jalapenos. So we're basically gonna be making buffalo cauliflower tacos. Um, I think we're gonna make those tonight. I'm excited for those, it'll be the first time ever. So hopefully those turn out good. Next, I went over the lime and I went over the jalapenos. We also got two green bell peppers. Let me just say the produce at Sprouts is gorgeous. These bell peppers look so good. At Smith's, they never look good. These look amazing. We bought these to go with our fajitas. I got this Daya Deliciously Dairy-Free Blue Cheese Dressing. I got this actually last week, but I'm putting it in right now because it's so good. I love blue cheese, but I'm sick of having dairy all the time, so I'm switching over to this one. I was actually surprised because most vegan things like this will have coconut oil or soybean oil, which I cannot have. But this one is just um, canola oil. Also not good for you, but I'm not allergic to it, so I'll take it. This literally tastes like blue cheese. It's so good, so yummy. I put it on my veggie burgers. Delicious. I'm gonna use this on my cauliflower buffalo tacos as well. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for like a vegan blue cheese. We also grabbed a cucumber. This is also gonna be to snack on along with the carrots. I love dipping cucumber slices into hummus. My all-time favorite snack right now. It's so good. It like refreshes you and it feels like it hydrates you and it's just so yummy. This is going to be a go-to snack for the summertime for sure. I also picked up two of these silk almond milk yogurts. I already ate one for breakfast this morning, but I did pick up two. This is in the vanilla. These are so delicious. I wish they had less sugar in them, but I'll take it. It's so yummy, so good in like a bowl of fruit. This morning I did half a jar of this with a banana and a big handful of blueberries and then I sprinkled cinnamon on top so long so good it tastes like a healthy banana pudding my favorite thing right now speaking of blueberries this is the big container of blueberries we got from sprouts sprouts has the best produce like i cannot say that enough love their blueberries they're good every single time we're down to the last couple things which i'll just show you these because i already told you we have them we got 18 eggs zachary and i eat a lot of eggs and i really want to find some kind of replacement to like eat in the mornings instead of eggs but I don't know they're just so good so easy so cheap like I don't know it's the only plant product I mean it's the only animal product I'm really eating anymore and I'm just scared to let it go because I love it next I got this sprouted seven grain bread Zachary used to eat healthy bread with me and we would get the blue one because it was millet and chia but Zachary went back to his original bread. Thank goodness because I love this sprouted seven grain one. It's so good. I got two loaves of this and I love it. This bread is amazing. It's like that thick, like hearty bread, like a whole wheat bread, but it's healthier for you and I just love it. It is gluten free by the way. Last thing we picked up is this Khalifa Farms unsweetened oat milk. The best milk in the world. So bomb and coffee, so good for cooking with. I've cooked with almond milk multiple times and it works, it does a great job, but something about the oat milk, it works more like cow's milk, it thickens up better, it holds flavor better, and it doesn't give you that almondy flavor in the dish, it literally doesn't taste like anything, it's so good, highly recommend. This is bomb, 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 and I like this brand the best because it has the least amount of ingredients, which is always good, less is always more. So go for whatever has the least amount of ingredients as far as oat milk. 
this is the one. So that was my grocery haul. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then chat to you guys really quick about what's to come this week as far as like health and wellness and exercising and personal trainer and all of that stuff. So see you in just a second. So let's chat. So I briefly mentioned it in a video before, but I am starting a program with a personal trainer who is also one of my best friends. I started today, which is Sunday, and I'm going to give you guys a little brief overview of like how I am now, what my goal is for this program and basically some details of the program itself. If you're not interested in this, that's cool. Click off the video. I just want this to document it for myself and also maybe motivate other people and um, get the word out there. So I currently weigh, this morning when I weighed, I weighed 147 and I am 5'7". My goal for this entire program is to lose a little bit of fat. I feel like I still have a little bit of fat that can be lost as well as gain a lot of muscle. I want to be very toned. I definitely want to grow my butt and I want to just get some muscle in my stomach, in my arms, and in my back for sure. Um, but I do also want to have very muscular like legs and butt. I used to be a competitive dancer so I was always muscular and toned and after quitting dance about five years ago it's completely disappeared. So I want to kind of get back into shape with that. So, the plan that my personal trainer Ethan has given me is three days a week because he knows I am very busy. So, three days a week I have workouts, which he has also written here for me. So, I do those. And then the other four days of the week, I am supposed to do just like a little bit of calming cardio, I guess you could call it. Um, he recommended that I just walk the dog for half an hour or you know just jog back and forth in the backyard for half an hour just something to actually get me moving without it being like a full-blown workout so my day-to-day -day looks like that i have an upper body day a lower body day and then an ab day with a lot of focus on stretching and cardio because there's only so much you can do with abs so that's what my three days of workouts look like and he also made it really convenient for me he gave me all exercises that i can do from home I don't have a gym or anything and I'm really not looking to pay for a gym membership because most of them have contracts and I just don't want to deal with all that. I'd rather just work out from the comfort of my home. I'm definitely more likely to work out if I know I can just get out of bed and go over to the next room and do a workout instead of like getting ready and getting in the car and driving over to the gym and all of that. I'm less likely to do it if I have to do all of that. So. It's really cool that he could make me a plan that I can just do from home. And with the workouts, he's also giving me basically a list to follow for my diet. So I wouldn't say I'm on a diet. I'm not. I'm definitely still eating very comfortably. Um, there's just some more numbers I'm supposed to focus on now. So he has me putting everything into this app called my fitness pal i feel like this is a really popular app um, i don't have the premium version i'm not going to pay 20 dollars a month for that i just don't need it i just use the basic i just do this to track it my fitness pal will put information in there saying like you should have this much and you should have this much of that and you should work out this much but i'm not using that information i'm just putting it in there to track what i've eaten for my personal trainer to go over with me after the week is over but he's giving me specific numbers for my calories and my macros and all of that. So if you're into fitness at all or know anything about nutrition, I'm just going to quickly read to you what he has for me. Now again, this is just for me personally. He knows me. He knows my body. We've talked about my goals and what I normally eat and all of that stuff. So these numbers are specific to me. I wouldn't use these numbers for you. I say if you are interested in something like this, let me know and I can give you his contact information or reach out to another personal trainer. But don't follow my numbers because you're not me and I don't want this to like have a negative impact on you. So my calorie intake for the day is between 1752 and 2044. I never get up to that many calories, I feel like, unless I have like a really bad day where I'm like eating pizza and making brownies and stuff, but I eat so much just vegetables and fruits and just healthier things that I don't ever really get up to that many, like 2,000 for me is a lot. I feel like most days I'll hit like 1,500, 1,600, but he wants me minimum at 1,752 so my body can grow muscle, so I do have to focus on eating a little bit more. And then as far as macros go, um, I'm supposed to be having 25% protein, 20% fats, and 55% carbs, which I'm totally down for because carbs is basically all I eat. Any protein I have literally comes from like 
chickpeas, eggs, I don't really know what else. I don't have that much protein in my diet because I am pretty much vegetarian, also trying to be plant-based as you saw at the beginning of this video. So the fats is the hardest part. I feel like nothing I eat really has that much fat in it and I'm going to have to work on that. So those are my percentages and then if you want to know the actual grams, it is 127 grams of protein, which is so many for me. I think I should incorporate my vegan protein shakes, which I definitely should do. I'm going to be doing that. After my workouts, I will be doing protein shakes. And then I also should be having 20 grams of fat and 281 grams of carbs, which is a lot in my opinion, but I'm glad because it's going to keep my body. He said he's basically putting me in a caloric surplus so that my body doesn't freak out and not know what to do because I'm I would be eating less and working out more and it would just be a lot to handle at once but because we want to grow muscle he wants me to eat more and keep my body full and thriving so that it can grow the muscle and not be stressed and worn out basically that's kind of the all of the information I have working out three times a week following an eating plan that's pretty much as simple as it is he's made it so easy for me he made up the whole plan for me the whole food thing and he just said track your food let me know how it's going for you we'll talk again in a week in two weeks we'll update it and we'll switch it up to make it work the best for you so i'm really excited today was day one the workout killed me but in a good way like i feel good i feel sore already but i'm excited that i feel that way because that means it's working i'm just gonna pop in in videos every now and then and give you guys updates i'm definitely gonna be posting more about it on my instagram so if you don't follow me there it is down below it's at buffmorg 4 f's 2 g's That'll be linked down below. And um, yeah, I guess that's that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure before you leave this video that you do subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, there's a red subscribe button down below the video. Press that button to subscribe and then click the little bell notification so that you never miss a video. Every time I post, you will be notified. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.